All right, here we are. We're going to be working on Project F today. We're just going to be cleaning up the inside, trying to get as much of the rust out of there as we can. Um, the parts cleaner did a pretty good job for the most part. This one's a lot worse off. This one's pretty good. Yeah, I cleaned this one up a little bit already, but this one, yeah, you can, can still see. kind of, a little bit of rust that we're just going to get a little tiny wire wheel in and just clean it up best we can. It's probably not too big a deal. And uh, we also got a new valve spring compressor tool because the uh, old one we're using was really bad. Um, this was it right here. So this is the old one. So you can see the mechanism you use to twist it is really bad. And also the biggest part is it's not very long. And the teeth are very small compared to the this better style one. So they're relatively same style, it's just this one's a lot better. And, larger and better for these 130 pound springs this one's yeah crap. this one this one might have worked had it not been such like high uh high tension springs you know like stock springs they might have worked fine yeah they but, work fine with the talk but, stock springs but. yeah so like that's but that's why we needed this one oh. and you know we rented it so it's not a big deal we might keep it it was only 30 bucks compared to this one which was 20 so yeah, also when we were using the old one, we were trying to put a spring together and we kind of launched a valve spring retainer across the garage. Yeah, one of these one of these guys that goes on the top of the spring and it we we looked through the entire garage, couldn't find Everywhere. it. Everywhere. We but, to tore apart everything and just could not find it. And ZZP sells a set of these for like $36, $40, but we found on Rock Auto the LS style, which is single one. It looks a little bit different color-wise, but it's the same build. It's almost identical. Like there's almost absolutely no difference besides just a little bit thinner. And then, you know, so there's really no difference. And Davis was able to get one of those for like three bucks. Three dollars, right? yeah. So it, I mean, there you go. Yeah, it, okay, that that one was the the replacement part for an LS uh, LS seven. Uh, valve spring so do you know if we got new rocker bolts i think i did we did yeah sure. we got new rocker bolts that are reusable and a apr and it'll be good all right well let's get ready what we're going to hopefully do is we're going to hopefully get the entire heads done yeah completely and hopefully on the engine and then maybe some timing stuff would be cool yeah if we could put together the timing set and uh there we go. yeah if we can get the timing all built up and Maybe the oil gears and everything. I think you have to put the oil gears on there, but just get it connected and just all rotating. I think it's at top dead center right now, and uh, yeah. So we'll we'll catch it once we have some oh, more this progress. Oh, is isn't it? So it is at yeah, top dead center. It is yeah. at top dead center right now. So we'll just leave it. All right, all right. So uh, we're not going to go into excruciating detail on how to do these uh, valve stems. Uh, basically, the the process is pretty simple. You just get your tool put the, the cap on top of it, or the valve spring retainer on the spring, tighten it down, and then you can see the neck at the top right there. Basically what you want to do is you want to lube up the keepers, and then you just want to fit them in there. So we're, you just get it in there, kind of hard to see. The fat side goes up the top. Well, there we go, I dropped yep, it. So it's fine like that. Basically once it comes up, it'll catch it right there. Now he's gotta do the other side. It's good to put lube on these, but also help grab it. You can do a tool or by hand. We, we, we got a bit of, of long pliers for it, but it wasn't really working so well, so we're just doing it by hand. Okay, so we got it in there. Now all you have to do is decompress it. So do you wanna yeah. undo it? This tool's so much better. Yeah, it is. This would not be possible with the other tool? The other tool is impossible. This is just so much better of a design, just beefier. So as you loosen it, the keepers will grab and uh, it won't go shooting off. And the, it's pretty simple. You just have to have a good tool for it. Each of these springs is taking like a couple minutes each. Just make sure to lube it up. And uh, here, just rotate it. There you go. Yep, just make sure to lube up the top there. I also put lube down here. I mean, just so that there's lube on any moving spots when we fire it up until oil can get to it. Uh, but that's what it looks like. Pretty easy. All right, we got the last cylinder head all put together. Uh, the last two or three of them got a little bit tough. The tool, for whatever reason, just started getting like, like right now, it threads just fine. But when I put the spring on, and did it, it would get like cross threaded and it was literally stripping something because we we're getting some metal shavings at the bottom of it. So um, 
made it really hard to do it by hand, so we kind of had to put it in the vise. Uh, and uh, we had one valve spring, only one out of all these that jumped out. So all in all, this was a much better tool than the original one. I don't think we would have been able to do it the original one, but uh, either we were doing something wrong or this tool, is, I mean, it is a rental tool, so it has been used by a bunch of other people. So maybe there is something that had happened to it and this was just the, the last time, but uh, yeah, it did get a bit harder after that. So we we'll have this on right now. Uh, we are cleaning up these uh, rocker arm pieces. Uh, we just got them dipped in some Marvel Mystery Oil and then we're going to spray them with Brake Clean. It's a good way to clean them up, so that is where we're at there. And uh, we'll show you once we have more, more progress. I want to make sure it's all not gross. Alright, we got the, uh, all the rockers all cleaned up. Uh, we got the heads. What we're going to do is we're going to place the heads on the block, uh, torque them down, and then get the uh, rockers torqued down as well. There's new torque specs for those. That we're gonna follow and uh, just wheel this whole bob into the light a bit. We got the head gaskets on, they're just marked which way goes where. As you can see, these are just marked to the front of the car, so we got that set and uh, we're just about to put the heads on. All right, let's get the heads on. Nice. Slides right in there. Nice. Oh, let's get you on Finally making some progress in the car. Geet. Nice. So now uh, we have headsets already installed there, so all we have to do is uh, torque them down. The, uh, the what? ARP studs are over there. Or the bolts. The goods. Let's Here's look up the... truck spec. Yeah. Also probably wants us to put lube on all these yeah, washers and stuff. So we're going to get on this and uh, show you once we have more, more progress on it. We're just going to put these on, look up the torque spec, and then uh, lube them and torque them down. Like, boom, boom, You might, boom, might need to look that up. Yeah. So we're, we're going to get started with torquing down these cylinder heads. I mean, I think you just work from the inside out. Oh, uh, really? Not the outside in? Yeah. Hmm. So, I mean, you Google it real quick. We want to do this right. There you go. So we're just going to be using this torque sequence just for a small black Chevy, just going inside to out. Make a cool face. <laughs> Thumbnail. All right. That's all of them. So that's 45, and then what was the next torque spec? Uh, it was 75. Are you sure? Yes. Well, no, 70. 45, yeah. 70. Well, let's. We want to do the other side sure. first. Might as well. You mean hold this? Yeah. We're getting into torque. Torque readings unknown to man. Snap goes ahead, stood. That would make me cry. We're almost ready to put the valve covers on, too. Yeah? Well, we still don't know what we're going to do with the valve covers. What it's do you mean? gross as fuck, remember? Oh, uh, no, they're fine. There's... Yeah, we'll paint them. Yeah, just gross on the inside. Yeah, where's there. that tool again? 
All right, we're having some technical difficulties with the torque wrench, but we got it to 85 without it popping out. So uh, we're just gonna quickly do this. This is the last one, right? 85? Yep, and then we'll be good to proceed here. Oh, damn. 85's a lot. Yeah. No, you just pop out. Yep. Yeah, torque wrench is ready to be retired. Yeah, uh. Yeah, that one's broken. That a little bit. Gross as fuck. If you look inside, these are gross as hell. Yeah, you can see all the grind, just disgustingness in there. That's gross. Probably clean those up. We have the custom ZZP 7 inch uh, push rods. The lifters, the LS7 lifters. Should probably clean, well, or is that just oil in there? Yeah, they're just oily. Because so they were in a car. We can just drop those down. Get them in? Noise. Well, and you can kind of see through this little hole. I don't think the camera will, but you can see the, through the little hole where it kind of touches. Oh, we can kind of see it there. Okay. So, yeah, we just have to get them in. They don't sit very far in we there. So we're going to get these in, and then the push rods, and then the, uh, I guess the rockers, and then I think uh, we might be done today, or we can try getting the rest of the timing stuff on, just given the amount of time we have. But we are certainly making progress. All right, so we're just putting the, the push rods in. Is always an engine builder. Just make sure the, the letters are going this way. Go it doesn't even matter which direction they go that. in. But we had to get these plastic bits in. Not, not like uh, right there. And oh. then that'll hold see, the see lifters right in there? place. Mm -hmm. There you go. Put it in the hole. Put it in the hole, Zoe. That's what, what I'm good at, guys. That's good. Can you do it in the dark, though? Yes. Of course. All right, good. Nice. I wouldn't be married if I couldn't. Really? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Hey, do you know this is an engine build by Zoe Warner. I just did all of Easy. this. Easy. Right there. Yep, so we're going to get all these in and then torque them down to 23 foot-pounds. Yeah, make a face. Alright, so we're just going to be torquing these down to 23 foot-pounds. Does not take much. We just had to drop by Park Rose to go get the uh, correct quarter-inch hex bit. What was that? It's an Allen. Allen bit, whatever it is. I mean, hex is six, right? So it is a hex bit. Yeah, so it doesn't so. matter what it's called. Yeah. Damn, this one's got some travel. We yeah, it does. really tighten this bitch down. Nope. There we go. Get it in the hole, Tristan. That was so hard. It was dry. Yeah. It wasn't lubed up. It wasn't lubed up. I keep on telling you, Tristan, that you have to use a lube. I know. Alright, so we're just going to do that to the other side, uh, but I think we are pretty much done for yeah, today. I gotta head out, so, yep. peace! Alright, we got all the uh, heads and the valve train all finished. Um, everything's all torqued down to the correct specs. Everything is pretty much ready to go for us to put the timing on, uh, valve covers on, and just like assemble the rest of, the thing, uh, the rest of it, but looks pretty good. So now that we have all this work done, uh, we just wanted to make like a big push today to get a lot done. Um, we're probably not going to have much work on it within the next two or three weeks, but after that, uh, we should have tons of time to uh, work on the rest of it and finally get this in the Camaro. So uh, thanks for watching.